web terminology. There's a there's a list online that that we we set up for this class that has about uh, what we call it is the top 80 technology terms. And so I'm gonna we're gonna break that up because we don't want to give you 80 all at once. That might be a little bit too much to digest. But we'll go ahead and uh, cover them in in little chunks, probably three little chunks. So the first set of technology terms, if you if you go on, you can kind of follow along with me. I just want to talk uh, about each one of them so that you're a little bit more familiar with them and you're, you're a little more comfortable with uh, with what they mean. Because throughout the semester, you know, I might you know I, I might drop one of these terms in class, and then if you have no context or no uh, no background on it, you you might not know uh, what to do with that. So. This will give you some uh, some background information on each of these terms that that'll help you with that, and and we'll go from there. First one, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start right up here at the top. If you if you look in the browser, I'm going to talk about different kind of infrastructure. Um, you know, the the internet is is all about infrastructure. If you think about what the definition of the internet is, it's a network of networks, and many of the the technology terms you see on the screen right now, dial-up modem, DSL, cable, wireless, fiber, those are all network infrastructure terms. And, and the, the question may be raised, well, why, why do I need to know something about uh, internet infrastructure if I'm in an internet development class? That is a great question. Uh, the answer to that is, is if you're building websites uh, that are be, being delivered on certain types of network infrastructures, you have to know what the what the capabilities of those networks are um, to best or optimize the experience for your user uh, within that web development or website environment. Um, an example of that would be you know if you're if a if a group of users that you're targeting with your website is using dial-up modems, the experience with rich media like video or sound is going to be significantly reduced because of the time it takes to download. Where, you know, where you know you have a few examples in the US where the whole city, you know, Google went in and and put fiber to every home in a in in a city and so the the opportunity to deliver rich media services in that environment is very different. I mean, if you've got gigabit network services to every home in the city and you and, and you have access to deliver it gigabit. You're gonna you're gonna deliver a lot richer experience. It's gonna be a lot faster. And so, recognizing and understanding a little bit about the network infrastructure is is a key part. So, dial-up modem uh, comes in speeds of up to 56 uh, kilobits per second. Again, network speeds are described in bits per second. Um, you know, it, and and we'll talk a little bit more about bits and bytes in a minute, but. 56k is your dial-up modem speed, which is pretty slow. DSL, and, and you've experienced that, so you know that. Uh, DSL uh, is up to 10 megabits per second. You know, I think uh, I think that's uh, a pretty common connection out there. Um, cable internet, you're going to see uh, 256 kilobits per second to up to 20 or 25 megabits per second. So we went from kilobits to megabits uh, really quick. Wireless connections are similar. Um, you're going to get similar kinds of speeds as cable connections. Fiber, now fiber is probably the most interesting type of, of internet infrastructure connection, of a network connection. Uh, the reason is, is the, the, the possibilities for incredibly fast speeds uh, using the same infrastructure and over time what you'll do is I mean if you have fiber in, in your home you'll just be switching out devices on the end of that fiber to increase your speeds it's not like you have to replace out the the infrastructure itself it's just the devices on the end of it that will then give you the speeds that you need and so fiber is really an interesting one to watch um, and you're, you're seeing fiber speeds like I said before of you know gigabit gigabits per second speeds in homes uh, so that that's really an interesting 802.11 wireless or Wi-Fi is a is a more uh, it has a a lower range in terms of the distance that it can go 
uh, speeds. Um, uh, there are different kinds of uh, 802.11 network speeds, whether it's a B or an N, or, or you have different kind of speeds. Uh, those are the kind of thing. Those are those kind of network access points are really what you see in most people's homes, or to, to deliver wire, you know, a wireless experience inside your own home. But it usually stays within a, you know, like a 300. You know, this says about 65 feet indoors, and so you're not going to get uh, huge distances with that type of wireless. T1 is ha, has historically been a you know in the early day earlier days of the internet that was what a lot of your internet service providers used to you know provide access. Um, its speed is 1.5 megabits per second. Um, T3 is the equivalent of 28 T1, so you're going to get about 45 megabits per second out of a T3 connection. Uh, OC connections are, are your most common uh, types of connections that go wide or into wide area networks. And you notice that you have OC stands for op optical carrier and an OC1 is 51.85 megabits per second. OC3 is going to be three times that, 12 is going to be 12 times that, and OC255 is uh, 255 times that. So you you see the speeds, and those are really the speeds that you're going to get in a in a, a regional bell operating company that's going between states, or you know they'll, they'll they'll use those kinds of environments to deliver those kind of network speeds. Again, we have um, we have bits. Uh, a bit is a digit in the binary number system. It's a zero or a one. Um, bits per second is how uh, data communications are me measured. A byte is eight bits. Uh, a kilobit is a thousand uh, bytes. Megabyte is a million bytes. Gigabyte is a, is a billion bytes and a terabyte is a trillion bytes. Bandwidth is really the measure of uh, what you're measuring that's going over a network speed going over a, a, spe a specific segment of the network. And again, it's measured in bits per second. Uh, Ethernet is a network connection type. Uh, it's probably your most common network connection type. Uh, usually you either have you know 10 megabits per second, 100 megabits per second, or gigabit or 10 gigabit Ethernet speeds on networks. Those are, um, those are really uh, your most common types of network environments.